Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to implement the leaderboards in our project. So to start, we go to the package manager. We find the leaderboards and install it. We also need to go to the Unity dashboard here in the projects. Select our project and let's find leaderboards and launch it. Now let's create a leaderboard, choose a name for it. Also choose an ID. By the way, in your project, when you are writing the code, you will access this leaderboard using this ID. And let's go next. We want it to be highest to lowest. Let's choose total score for this one. We don't want to use buckets, so let's go next. Let's go next and finish. So here we go. By the way, you could edit any settings that you want. So this is the ID that we need. Let's go to our Unity project. So let's create the UI first. I have already created a leaderboards menu. So let's open this. This is the container. Let's take a look. So that's the title text. This is a button to close the panel. And I've placed the button as a test for now, which I'm going to delete this button later. Basically, when we click this button, it's going to add a few points to our player's score. Now we have a list here. It is a scroll rect attached to it. So let me expand this. That's the header up there, which only includes three text. So this is a text to show which page this list is showing a button for the next page, previous page. And if we expand the viewport, go to the content. This is a item that I've created, which we are going to use to show the score of each player. If we duplicate this, you'll see that we're going to have a bunch of players as a list. So by the way, I'm going to put the exported version of this project in the description of the video. So you could just download it. Let's also go to the main menu and here let's enable it. I'm going to create a button and name it leaderboards. So when we open our main menu, we can click on this button and go to the leaderboards menu. Let's also change the text and maybe the color. Now let's go and create our leaderboard menu script. Here we go. If we open this, we can clear that inherit from panel, use TM Pro Unity Engine UI and Unity Services leaderboards. Now let's open the main menu and get a reference to our leaderboard button and simply create a function leaderboards. It is going to use panel manager open leaderboards panel. So we could assign the on click listener in the initialize. So in the unity editor in the main, we are going to assign the button that we just created. So that's for our main menu. So back to the leaderboards and attach this one for ID. I'm choosing that and that is the container. So we also need a script to attach to our player item. So I am going to create a script, name it leaderboards player item. And if we open this, we are going to use TM Pro Unity Services Leaderboards models and Unity Engine.ui. So we have a text for rank, for name and for a score. Also, we have a button. We need a reference to the leaderboard entry. Let's call it player. Now let's create a function called initialize. So whenever we instantiate a player item, we're going to call this initialize and we're going to pass the leaderboard entry to this function. This basically contains the data that we got from the Unity Services server that contains all the data related to that player, including uh, rank, name, score, and a bunch of other data. When we call this initialize, first we're going to save the data to maybe use it later. And we assign the text for rank to player rank plus one. The first rank is zero. So we're going to add one to it to start from one. Then we also assign the text for name text and score text as well. Also, let's create an empty function called clicked. We're going to set this up in the future videos. For now, we're just going to show a debug.log. 
and in the start function we're gonna add the listener for our select button to this clicked function which if we go to the editor and if we select our leaderboard player item you see that there is a button attached to it so let's also attach the script and assign the values for rank name score and the button itself now let's also create a folder and name it prefabs inside this I'm gonna create another folder name it menu and inside this I am going to create a prefab out of this so let's go to our leaderboards script here we need a bunch of variables first we need an integer that indicates how many players we show in our list per page obviously when you have a large number of players for example you have a thousand let's say you have a million players it's not possible to get a million players data in a single call we're gonna get the data per page so let's say we want 25 players per page which you can change the number we need a player item prefab the prefab we just created we need a players container that is a rect transform this is basically the rect transform here that we're going to instantiate the prefabs under it so we're going to assign it to that rect transform we need a text to show which page we are showing to the user right now a button to go to the next page previous page a button to close this panel and a button to add a few points to the current player score so this is a test as I mentioned we're gonna delete that later and I'm just using this to show you how you could add scores to your players let's create two variables this is an integer to show the current page that we are showing to the player this is the total pages available let's create a bunch of functions one of them is add a score the other one is load players so this one takes a, a score how much you want to add to the player this is, takes a page which page you want to load we need the next page another function for previous page a function to close the panel and a function to clear the list of players so the close panel is easy we're just gonna call close for the next page we say if the current page plus one is greater than total pages then we jump back to the first page otherwise we're gonna go to the current page plus one something similar in the previous page if the current page minus one is less or equal than zero we're gonna go to the last page otherwise we're going to go to current page minus one also when we want to clear the list we are going to get all the items under the rect transform container of type leaderboards player item then we're just gonna destroy them so let's also create a test function as add a score which is going to call add a score async let's add 10 points every time we click on that button and if we overwrite the initialize function and add the listener for our buttons and before that we could clear the list so let's start here when we adding a score so first I'm going to set the interactable of the add button to false to make sure when we click on it we have to wait for the process to finish and player cannot repeatedly click on it so at the end we are going to set it back to true now let's add a try catch and inside that we are going to call leaderboard services instance add player score async so it takes a leaderboard id which if you remember we chose test as our id here in the dashboard the id is test so let's go back to the code and here we are going to pass the value of the score so it's going to add that score to this leaderboard for the player that is currently authenticated and then after that it's going to load players for the current page so basically it's going to refresh the current page 
let's also overwrite the open function first we're gonna set the page text to something we are going to disable the next and previous buttons and we call base open we clear the list set the current page to one total pages to zero and we load players for page one so let's go to the load players function which all the roads are leading here set the intractable state of our next and previous button to false then let's use a try catch now let's declare a get a score options so in this options offset means the amount of records that is going to ignore and limit basically means how many records you want to get which is players per page which is 25 so this way we could easily split our players into different pages so here finally we say a scores equals to await leaderboard service instance get scores async so we're gonna pass the id and the options now that we got the scores we're gonna clear the list first and then we are going to do a for loop on the scores results.count and for every score we are going to instantiate one of our prefabs under the container and then we are saying item initialize using that data also we can calculate the total pages here by dividing scores the total number on scores that limit and the current page is going to be page at the end here we can set the text for page text now we could also do something interesting with the buttons interactable option by saying if the current page is less than total page and uh, total page is greater than one then set it to true otherwise set it to false and the same thing for the previous button if we have more than one pages and it is greater than the first page then set this to true otherwise false now let's go to the editor and here we could assign the variables for our menu first let's assign the prefab so that's our prefab that is the container of our prefabs so the page text next button previous button close button and just the add a score button that we are testing for now so if I disable this and let's save it and play the project I am immediately authenticated because I still have a session token from the previous video so let's go to the leaderboards right now it's not showing anything because uh, no player in our service has score so if I add some score you see that I'm gonna show up here with 10 points now if I hit it again you see 20 30 and so on so if I close this sign out let's sign up with another username and password test 2 and let's sign up here we go with a different name if we go to the leaderboards now since we don't have any scores we're not visible here so let's add some score now you see we have two players and easy like that we have a leaderboard let's go back again in the project if we go to the leaderboards here they are page one of one this is the first rank this is the second rank so if I add this to 20 and now 30 and now 40 now I am the first rank as you can see they switched places now the player with 40 scores is the rank one so that's basically how you could do leaderboards so in the next video i'm probably gonna do the friends service i hope you find this video useful please make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching